Guys, we are back in free code camp. We're doing the bonfire section, basic of basic algorithm scripting, and today we're going to be doing Chunky Monkey. Um, this was one that kind of took me a second to wrap my mind around, as uh, for maybe uh, once I actually got the solution, it wasn't too bad. So what we're trying to do here is we're going to take in an array in our chunk function we, uh, of letters, of characters, and then we're saying we don't we want to break them up into multiple arrays. We want to break it up into arrays based on the size, in this case two. So A, B, C, D, two should return A, B, and C, D. So the first thing I always do is create kind of a, a temporary array or an empty array because I know I'm going to need one typically at some point. So uh, I, I, I usually just call it holder array. Um, you can call it whatever you want, uh, whatever makes sense to you. So what uh, what it wants us to do is push, it, this is a suggestion, uh, the push function pushes it or adds it to the, to the array. So what are we going to do for that? So in my case, I did a count. So I, I created a, um, a simple count. Uh, int and I set it equal to zero because we're always going to be starting at zero when we're adding to it. So we then want to, if you remember back, we use slice also. So there's a couple ways we can do this. It's the simplest way for me was to do a while loop. And what we wanted to do is just say while our count, while zero, is less than our original array's length because we do have to iterate through the whole array. So that's a good way to start. So, and <clears throat> excuse me, we want to, uh, while that's happening, we want to push on the hold, our holder array, we want to push the value out, but we also are going to need to use slice. So let's go ahead and do holder array dot push. So we're going to add to the, add to our empty holder array our current array, but not the whole thing. We want to slice it up a bit. So um, where do we want to slice? We want to slice from where our count currently is and s all the way to where our count is plus size. Size, if you remember, is the parameter we get in here. So slice from zero to two, and then you know it's going to reset it there. And then um, we'll keep, you know, just do it again. So, and again, and again. And again, and at the end we have to return uh, return the holder array. So we take this out, change this to holder array, and when we run it, oh, what did I do? what did I do wrong with my example code here? So, oh, this is r dot r dot length holder array dot push and we want to slice our array start at start at our count and then go up to whatever our size is let me see here I have my example code here it's a good good example of debugging so here's what I originally solved oh I already see it so um I was thinking to myself, where are we incrementing count? So here we have to reset count every time. So we're actually say, so otherwise we just would have an infinite loop because while doesn't auto increment. So we're resetting count right here, saying count is equal to count plus size. And there's a, you know, we could do it like this too. Um, count is equal to, so we'll just put count plus size and then we should be able to do count equals count plus size. And that should work the same. And there you go. So um, as always, let's go ahead and create some comments here so we can go back. So empty array, we will add uh, our, uh, values to. So, um, so we, uh, we use this two par while loop, while loop counter. And also, also index counter. So we're using this to. Oh, sorry. Uh, we're using this to increment 
Uh, I'll go. Loop counter. And we're using this to increment the, the number size here so that we continue to increase. So So what do we want to do here? Um, so we're while loop. So this is probably the most advanced piece of code. Uh, add to holder array values between current index and size and uh, increase count. So that is Chunky Monkey for you in its finest. So just to go over, create an empty array. We create a count variable for our kind of for our while loop, and we're saying while this is still equal to zero, less than less than the length of our original array, we want to add to our new array a value that starts at zero in this case, and then it's increment all the way up to two. And then we're just slicing those arrays and adding them to the new holder array. So here, get two values from the zero and one position. Here, get two values from one and, and um, from two and three position. Get two values from the five and six position and add it. So we're adding an array every time with this slice method. So that was a uh, free code camp bonfire chunky monkey, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps me out a ton. And I appreciate all the comments that I get and all the questions I get in the comments. And I'm happy to answer them. So keep them coming. And I'll see you in the next video.